everyone, it's Polly from Polly's Pretties. Uh, coming at you today with a little bit of a mix mash. This is some things from Rite Aid and some things from Dollar General. So I'm going to do the Rite Aid first to get it out of the way. It's the smallest. Then I'll do the Dollar General. So the first thing we got from Rite Aid was this novelty clothespin set of six. And they are wood, but they have the like wood... Mmm, what do they call them? Wood. Well, I'll just show you. And they were dollar, just like the package says. And that's what they look like. I think they're really cute. Thought they might be kind of cute for some projects or maybe even pocket letters. Second thing I got, and I don't know, some of these just yelled get me, so we did. That are called bling stickers. There's six in here, and they were dollar. Here's what they look like. And last, but not least, from Rite Aid, or well, not last, there's one more thing, uh, was this $3 Adopt Christmas Coloring Book. And this is what it looks. And then the last item from Rite Aid was this little scarecrow guy and I thought he was kind of cute. So go up on my shelves for fall. And then we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the Dollar General and what we've got there. So the first couple things is this bell headband. It's black and it has a pretty pearl and silver design on the side there. Got it. Then I got this decorative ribbon which is five eighths of an inch by nine feet. And it looks like Santa's belt. And I got two packs of, I think, yeah, Two packs of the same set of stickers. There's 24 in here. They're called embossed stickers. But I thought they were really cute. Oh, let me see if I can get the glare off so you can see them here. Oh, look at that. There we go. And they're just little snow globes or snowmen. I have two packs of those. And then I'm going to try this year to get all the decorations for my tree and the decorations that I wanted and the signs and everything from like Dollar Tree and the different places around to do a cozy lodge Christmas tree and decor. Um, we didn't get a chance to get in on it quick enough last year before it was all gone. This year we've been finding bits and bobs to go with it like the red trucks that I showed in a previous video of mine. And so today we also found this at the Dollar General a little wooden sleigh. Let me see if I can get my hand out of the way so you can see it. It's really pretty. And it was only a dollar. So I got that because that kind of looks rustic to me. And then I could probably try to make this, although I wouldn't know where to begin. Hang on. I'll do that in a minute because that's a Walmart thing. Yep. Anyway, then this, and it was a dollar. And here is my... I gotta stop. Okay, there's more from Dollar General, but I gotta show you this. This is from Walmart. And I hunted last year every place on the Blue Earth for this. And I mean every place. We drove around the whole town where we live and the town next to us and had people in West Virginia that are in my family looking and had people here in Pennsylvania looking and just, oh my goodness, yes. This year, as you can see, we found it. And I was not taking a chance. We got it. It's from Walmart. And I believe it was $10. And like I said, I just wasn't taking a chance on it not being there. So now I have it. My red truck. So I am beginning. Yes. Now back to Dollar General. <laughs> just We had to show that. I was so tickled as punch when the guys found that. So. And then from Dollar General... Usually I don't grab pencils, but yeah, it's Christmas. Well, coming to Christmas. Uh, so there was this little Christmas stocking one, and the pencil itself has little stockings and stuff on it and holly. It was only 50 cents. And then 
this one is just like a candy cane stripe with Santa's head on it, and it was 50 cents as well. And then, and then, and then, and then. Uh, no. <laughs> but, and then, my guys decided to surprise me because we had to drop him or make him go wonky. Like I said, I'm trying to do like a cozy lodge Christmas effect here in the house. So meet Mr. Moose. Isn't he cute? And he's a countdown to Christmas. Um, there you go. Now you can see. He's a countdown to Christmas. And this guy, I'm not going to tell you the price because, well, I'm not even supposed to know. But isn't he adorable? He's just the cutest guy. He's going to sit next to my tree. He is, he is. And I was so happy they found him. So now, I have three of my red trucks. I have one metal one, one wood one, and the cookie jar one. <laughs> and I'm slowly finding bits and bobs of the ornaments that we also wanted. Now if I can get to Dollar Tree, and hopefully they'll have the signs from last year again. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. Because I really, really, really... I've never done like a theme on my tree. It's always just been kind of whatever we liked. Whether it was glass bulbs and wooden ornaments or whether it was homemade stuff all the way down. Uh, but it's never had any theme. It's always just been kind of hodgepodge. And then last year when I saw all the Christmas Lodge stuff and the Christmas Cabin stuff coming out and the Cozy Cabin and I just fell in love. And to be honest, like I said, we didn't get there in time to get the stuff when I saw it. It was already gone and picked over. And I'm hoping this year it won't be that way. Also, like the waterless snow globes that are out there, um, we went and we looked and looked and looked and looked. We looked four different stores. I had people everywhere looking for me to see if I could get some, and they were just gone. And the mason jar ones are gone, and, and, and our store, a lot of times, too, the little one here in Latrobe gets nothing. And then the one that we do go to in Greensburg, which is next town over, it'll sometimes get stuff and sometimes not. It just depends. And we're so far behind, like even with the washi tapes and the adult coloring books and the regular books, and we're so far behind that sometimes it's just like, yeah, wish in one hand and forget it in the other one. But anyhow, this is my little haul for the day, and if anyone is interested, I do have a Facebook group that I run that does swaps of things like pocket letters, um, journaling cards, mini pocket letters, um, I'm trying to think what they're called, uh, flip books, I think is what they're called, and just anything crafty, even crocheted stuff. Um, I also, of course, have this YouTube, and I also have an Instagram, which are all linked, usually, in my description. If they're not on this one, they're definitely on the main video and in the About section. So if anybody would like to do any kind of swaps or anything like that, just get a hold of me. And if I can't do it that exact month, please be patient, because I am on a limited income here. Um, so, but I will do the swap. Definitely. I mean, if it's something that I know how to do. There are some crafts I don't know how, and I'm new to the paper crafting area. Uh, I was used to crocheting and plastic canvas and stuff like that. So paper crafting is new to me. I've only been doing it about a year. So, but thanks for watching if you made it to the end. And for listening to me babble. And hopefully you all are having a beautiful Friday where you are. It is 70 degrees outside here. After being little over 50 yesterday. So we took full advantage. We've already been out for two walks. We've been to the store. We've been to the dogs and got the dogs of dads walked and just out, out, out. Enjoying the sun while we have it. Tomorrow is supposed to be trick or treat here and it's supposed to rain. I'm hoping they're wrong. I really am. So cross your fingers for us that we don't get rain, at least not till after the kids are done, because that would make it such a mess. Anyway, again, hope you're having a great Friday. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around. I do want to try to do more DIYs on my channel, 
And as a matter of fact, I have a couple ideas coming up for Christmas, actually. So I hope you'll stick around and have a great Friday. Bye.